would building back better mean for all the persons? I do think the COVID pandemic has revealed enormous inequalities between people, including people of different ages and enormous weaknesses in institutions, including care facilities for all the persons. The unexpected COVID-19 pandemic showed that even advanced societies with established care systems for older people were unable to cope efficiently with the health and other aspects of their aged population. On what would the building back better mean for older people or aging population? I think we should not be looking at building back better, but focus on building forward better. I suppose first and foremost is improved healthcare systems. And I, I think it's critical that these address not just national problems, but we now see how important it is that they address global uh, health problems as well. Building back better means uh, change for the older populations, especially the improvement on social policies and health services for the elderly, especially mainstreaming the aging into the social policies. And also at the UN, the UN declared on 14th of December the decade of healthy aging, uh, 2021 to 2030. And uh, this is a huge, I mean, uh, development and huge achievement for older people. The second element to building back better is to have economies that provide opportunity and security for older persons. Uh, recognizing the immense contribution to socioeconomic development of the countries and supporting them to have a dignified old age. Older people, their number is increasing and they are able to, I mean, uh, able to uh, uh, support government and the economy uh, if they, are, uh, they have opportunity. To make sure that we have governments that are financially strong and are responsive to the needs of older persons. I do think what we are seeing is to some extent the result of a worldview that sees population aging and older persons as a cost primarily to society and that has encouraged all kinds of cost savings. And in particular I think there's been a growing acknowledgement that the voice of older adults really has to be listened to when it comes to policy making because it's absolutely fine to have pragmatic policy in the middle of a pandemic. We just have to make sure that this doesn't become institutionalized ageism. And I do think we have to fundamentally change this worldview and look at population aging and older persons also as an opportunity. Building back better for the aging population post COVID-19 means that there needs to be societal change in many aspects, including at personal, uh, family, community, and national levels. Strong families provide the most immediate and appropriate responses to health and economic crises. When we think of how we can build back better, I think one thing that is very clear is that this pandemic has highlighted the isolation and the loneliness of so many older people across the world. And I think this is a real opportunity to look at building truly integrated intergenerational communities. Such innovations as e-learning, the influence of social media and new technologies have changed our lifestyle and the way of thinking for efficient and inexpensive communications. Uh, when we talk about the internet using uh, all the telemedicine or even for the daily life for all the people, for their social participation, for digital divide, all of these aspects, we need to talk about mainstreaming of the policies, whether the older people can benefit from this kind of 
improvements or changes. What science do you see you building back better? The whole world and all the governments, they have promised to protect old people. This is something new. They never really have promised to protect old people. Many people ask me, are there signs that the world is getting better? Is India getting better for the elderly? But at this time, what I can see is we are still on the edge of the pandemic. Well, the pandemic is a, is a tragedy. It is also an opportunity to review our priorities. It is also an opportunity to test our systems and capacities. The trend is already visible. You can forecast with cautious optimism that the government, which has shown positive attitude towards the older persons, will continue to be supportive for the rights and privileges of older persons even in the post-corona era. Only thing we see signs are that the government is now keen on building the health infrastructure for the elderly in many districts. So both healthcare and as well as long-term care will improve in the coming years due to the COVID pandemic. It's really about translating all this good intention that we see into action. So we have uh, already seen uh, some better developments or change uh, after the uh, post-pandemic period. Uh, and then uh, we think uh, that momentum will continue to change the society. Surely the negative and positive changes during the COVID-19 pandemic created a momentum for change. But this opportunity needs uh, to be seized for a better future as our society transitions uh, to an aging population. Now our government, all the governments, they really have realized the aging of the population. If we don't manage to achieve results now in the near future, I'm less optimistic that in the medium term we'll really make all the necessary changes. But hope that they will remember their promises and, and their attitudes later on.